Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. So today we're going to talk about how to pin your pins multiple times, how to pin your products multiple times using different pins. Say that five times fast. Okay, so the very first day we, we listed this product or we started advertising this product, because you may be going back through your stock, you had... Um, seen that I have other pins in here. So what I did was when I uploaded my pins to, uh, when I uploaded my pictures to Etsy, I have all my normal pictures. And then the last two are Pinterest pins. These I made specifically for being able to upload them as we go. So what I would do is remember we were I was showing you how we were going to pin out in the last video I showed you how we were going to pin out 10 days for each of the pins and we got to the 13th of September. Right? So that was Friday the 13th Friday the 13th. Okay, so we got to Friday the 13th. So what I would do is I would mark down Friday the 13th, and then I would go four weeks. One, two, three, four. And then I would say, glamorously vintage. You don't have to do that because you don't have all different shops. Or if you have different shops, I say which shop. Pin, second, image. railroad doorstop right and then i would come here and i would get this link to this product so that when it comes time to do it i don't have to look it up because i'm super lazy and i'm already in it so i would say pin second image railroad doorstop uh, and then i kind of describe it black fancy letters and then I would go 10 days, 10 days, one, two, three, four. And then I would say glamorously vintage pin third pin. And what was my third pin? Oh, it has like a blue bar on it. So blue bar, see down here, this blue bar. Pin third pin railroad door stop blue bar okay with a link to that product and so then what happens is that I can go I'm just going along in my day I go to today and the, and I really do do this so uh, those are looping pins I've done most of my work for this week uh, oh here Make short Pinterest video to folio folders. Marketing art artfully third pin Etsy SEO long tail. Um, looping. Okay. And so what happens is that as I go, if I were to if I were to come upon those pins, those let's do railroad. So if I got to that day, right? Oops. There we go. If I got to that day, I would just click on here. I would say, okay, what's my job for today? And it is the blue bar pin. I would come here. I would say, pin it. I would say, pin the blue bar pin. I would pick my boards that I wanted to pin it on. And bam, I'm done. Now, let's talk about why I'm scheduling those second and third pins rather than just uploading all three of them on the first day okay because literally i could even be tricky and say i put the um i do have a vintage door stops pin or a board on pinterest i put um gave myself access to it on this account um but but say i were to pin this plain pin and then pin the doorstop pin and pin this one and then do all my sharing later. Wouldn't that make sense? And you would think it would, but the thing about Pinterest 
is that they like new pins. They like to have new items. Now, this is not to say that you can't have a pin that you pinned eons ago. It's so funny. One of my best pins on my analytics right now is this pin for how to schedule your Pinterest pins. Um, and it was created just a couple weeks ago. But this one that's doing great was created in April 27th, 2019. So what the heck, that was April, May, June, July, August, four months ago, and it's doing well right now. So it's not to say that you can't get traffic for old pins, but if you're going to be doing um, additional pins to the same product, you want to space that out over time. So instead of dumping three of the same product with three what are somewhat similar pins, right? This is that, oops, this is the first pin, this is the second pin, and this is the third pin that I have in my um, listing you could like this is going to take me through because it took a month to get through the first one then the second one is going to take a month and then the third one is going to take a month so i'm going to have three months of being able to promote these this product and so for you vintage gals that can feel very frustrating because what if the item sells? Well, then don't promote it, right? <laughs> You're going to get here. It's going to say it's sold out. Don't promote that one. Or you can watch the video later about um, promoting your categories. And that might be something that you want to add to your category page. Because if you're anything like me, even though I've sold this store stop, I have a whole bunch of other store stops and you could promote a category page. For you gals that are handmade, you, I was just talking to a handmade gal the other day. She had a um, supplier that stopped providing the um, jewels she needed to make her, her jewelry, and so she had to discontinue that product. You don't want to get hung up on this, so think about this. You took the time to do the product pictures for your product. Then you made three quick pins, right? You list, did your Etsy SEO, you listed your product. Then you did, if you're like me, you do quick Pinterest descriptions. And now you're gonna be able to pin this thing out for the next three months. That's amazing. And it didn't take that long, especially when you think about the fact that in Canva, I already have the templates set up for these. If I ever sell another train-related doorstop or it really kind of any vintage doorstop, I can just pop that in and make those three pictures really quick. And I don't have to worry about recreating the wheel every single time. So hopefully this helps if you're going to put your pins into your product listing on... Oh, and I wanted to show you this. You can do this in any of them. This is my Shopify store. And I have, um, I have this in my Shopify store. So I have kind of the general look and feel of what I'm going for. But then I also have my real estate agent planner right here that I could pin. Um, so you can put these extra, you know, pretty Pinterest pins in any shop. It does take up some of your product photography so the next thing we're going to talk about is if you don't want to take up your product photography, you can just upload directly to Pinterest. And I'm going to show you how to do that next. So hopefully this helps Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. If you like videos like this, please make sure to hit the thumbs up. And if you like videos that are about creativity or Etsy or e-commerce, please make sure to subscribe.